This screencast covers material for Module 3, Lesson 10, where we add mixed numbers with unlike denominators. When adding mixed numbers, it's often easiest to find the sum of the whole numbers first, and then deal with the fractions. Let's uh, look at what we're talking about here. So we have 2 and 1 fourth plus 1 and 1 fifth. Let's go to the number line. We're first going to add the fractions. So we go plus 2 and plus 1, and we arrive at 3. So we'll show that in our expression, 3, and we still have to add the 1 fourth plus the 1 fifth. Now we know a number of ways to find our like units. This time I'm going to kind of show the work, multiply things out for you. So I have 3 plus one fourth times five times five plus one fifth times four times four. We end up with three plus five twentieths plus four twentieths. So we'll go down to the number line. And we're going to represent adding 5 twentieths and then 4 twentieths. The sum of 5 twentieths and 4 twentieths is 9 twentieths. So we have 3 and 9 twentieths. We're going to label our answer on the number line 3 and 9 twentieths. Let's do another example. Let's look at the next example. I have 2 and 6 sevenths plus 5 and 2 thirds. I want to pay attention to the fractional part this time. I notice that 6 sevenths is greater than half and 2 thirds is greater than half. So that means the sum of those two fractions is going to be greater than 1. So I know that 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 1 is 8. We know the answer is going to be greater than 8. Let's use that to help us create our number line. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's go up to 9 because we know the answer is going to be greater than 8 because of the fractions. Again, we'll find the sum of the two whole numbers. So I start with 2 plus 2, and another, go up 5, plus 5, and we arrive at 7. So we're going to record 7 for the sum of the whole numbers, plus 6 sevenths, plus 2 thirds. We have to find our like units. So I have 7, and our like units would be 21st, so I have 18 21sts because 6 sevenths is the same as 18 21sts. If I multiply both 6 and 7 by 3, I get 18 21sts. And we're going to convert 2 thirds to 21sts, and I'm going to get 14 21sts. Let's find the sum of the two fractions. 18 and 14 is 32 21sts. And we know that that's greater than uh, 1 because we have a fraction with a numerator greater than the, not the denominator. I'm going to continue. So that is the same as 7 plus 21, 21st, plus 11, 21st. That equals 8 and 11, 21st. Let's represent that on the number line. We're going to first add 18 21sts. We're going to just kind of eyeball it here. And then we're going to add 14 21sts. And we arrive at 8 and 11 21sts. Let's continue. This example is kind of a little more difficult to estimate. 
We know that uh, two-thirds is greater than uh, one-half. Two-fifths is a little less than one-half. But if I compare two-fifths to two-sixths, two-sixths is the same as one-third. And two-thirds plus one-third is uh, one. And two-fifths is greater than two-sixths. So this is going to end up greater than the sum of the whole numbers. So we have five, four plus one is five. We know that it's going to be more than one more, so we know the answer is going to be greater than six. Let's work on the number line. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go up to seven. All right, we're going to add those whole numbers first. So we have four. And we have one. All right, so we find the sum of those and we record it in our expression here. So we have five plus two thirds plus two fifths. We need to find our common denominator and that would be fifteenths. So two thirds is ten fifteenths and two fifths becomes six fifteenths. We find the sum of those. We have 5 and 16 fifteenths. And again, we can see that the, the 16 fifteenths is greater than 1. So I can go through the steps here, although most of us can probably just tell us that that would be 6 and 1 fifteenth, but we'll decompose it once here for you. So that is the same as 5 plus 15 fifteenths plus 1 fifteenth equals 6 and 1 fifteenth. So we're going to now show this on the number line. Even though your homework does not tell you to do so, I just want to demonstrate what's going on. And we end up with 6 and 1 15th. This word problem is very, very similar to the one you're going to see in your homework. So I'm going to go over this, but uh, look at this when you uh, consider doing problem number 2 in your homework. Very, very similar. Erin jogged two and one-fourth miles on Monday. Wednesday, she jogged two and one-third miles. And on Friday, she jogged two and two-thirds miles. How far did Erin jog altogether? Well, the thing we notice about this is we have three numbers as opposed to two. I'm going to lay out a quick tape diagram. And we know that Monday, she jogged two and one-fourth miles three and one-third miles on Wednesday, and Friday two and two-thirds. So we're going to label this Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We want to know how much she jogged all together, so we're going to put a bracket and a question mark over that. Looking at the tape diagram, that tells us we need to find the sum of those numbers. So we're going to write the expression. We have 2 and 1 fourth plus 3 and 1 third plus 2 and 2 thirds. Well, we're going to start with our whole numbers first. And we're going to lay this out on our number line quickly. We'll go up to 9. Let's now find the sum of our whole numbers. I have 2 plus 3 plus 2. So we know that the sum of our whole numbers is equal to 7 plus 1 fourth plus 1 third plus two-thirds. Now before I uh, jump right to finding a common unit, I notice that I have two fractions that have the same denominator. So I'm going to deal with those first. It's these two, two-thirds and one-third. And of course two-thirds and one-third are equal to one. So I can simplify that and I'll have seven plus one-fourth plus one. Okay, so I'm going to now represent that two-thirds 
plus one third, that equals eight, equals eight plus one seventh. We don't even need to find a common unit here, we're just going to add the one seventh, and we get eight and one seventh. And we would write our answer out in a sentence. Aaron jogged eight and one seventh miles altogether. Let's do one more word problem again that's similar to what you're going to see in your home. Clayton says that two and one half plus three and three fifths will be more than five but less than six, since two plus three is five. Is Clayton's reasoning correct? Prove him right or wrong. Well, we know that 2 plus 3 equals 5. Okay? And we have 1 half plus 3 fifths in addition to that. Well, we notice that 3 fifths is more than half. So this, the sum of this is going to be more than 1. So if the sum of the fractions is greater than 1, then the answer must be greater than 6. And I, uh, I could write all this out for you, but I'm not going to. But this gives you the reasoning, and you should be able to put down some words in addition to sort of a demonstration using some mathematical expressions to answer your homework question that is very similar to this.